these guys are kind of our rivals from last year. We had some tough games with them, so it feels good to beat them. It didn't look like an exhibition on Saturday night with some big hits. And Grand Prairie's assistant coach getting tossed from the game as the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks capped off their preseason with a big win, defeating the county of Grand Prairie JDA Kings 7-5 on Saturday night. The night prior, the Junior Seas dropped a 5-4 overtime decision to the Fairview Flyers. During their exhibition endeavors, Saturday's win over the Kings was the team's most complete game. We got to try lots of new faces out there and different combinations, different situations. Tonight was probably our most success. Just a little more energy. Feet are moving, heads are up, heads are up and uh, moving the puck. Specifically the third period where the team scored three goals and eliminated the Kings' chances. We lost our focus in the second period. Third period, we wanted to come out and apply the pressure, put uh, Grand Prairie on their heels, and then just maintain that. Capitalize on the chances we had. But in order to do that, you got to keep your shift short, and everybody has to understand their role. While the score line and two points doesn't matter in terms of the standings, getting a win, fighting back from being a couple of goals down against an established team, is big for morale heading into the Northwest Junior Hockey League season. Especially because it's these guys don't have very many new players on their team. It's pretty much their last team from last year. So it's good to go out there and beat essentially a team that's ready, played with each other before and stuff with a bunch of new guys in our room. The team's depth was on display Saturday night. Five players had two-point nights. Ethan Buck scoring twice. Coleman Brinsky with two helpers. And three others chipping in with a goal and an assist. Coach Cooper will look to rely on all his players, rolling four lines with everyone contributing. Great from the first line to the fourth line, it doesn't, doesn't matter. We don't have a, a top and a bottom. We have a first line to fourth line that goes out there and provides energy to keep the other team on their heels. And that's what we did in the third period, and it, and it was successful. The Junior Canucks got off to a slow start last season, losing 10 in a row to begin the year. Matheson believes they'll be better to start this season, with some of the new additions looking strong in the preseason. Young kids that are out there grinding, laying body and stuff like that, and they always get back up and are out there next shift, so really impressed with them. Derek Lightfoot, CJDC TV Sports, Dawson Creek.